video will show you how to win in the IQ Option Tournament and receive a profit three times the initial investment. You will see several bets for $5,000 and learn the secret strategy of the Russians they have been using for a few months and winning the tournaments with. I have been watching the IQ Option Tournaments for a while and I noticed that a lot of Russians take part in them and that the vast majority of them placed very high. I could not understand why the Russians. Maybe they knew some secret. It turns out that there is a Russian trader who demonstrated a very easy way to win the IQ Option Tournaments. This is why so many Russians placed high in these tournaments. It turns out that the strategy is very simple and effective, and it is very easy to get a prize at the tournament. So now I will tell you how the IQ Option Tournaments are held. You have to buy virtual tournament dollars to participate in the tournament. In this tournament, 1,000 virtual dollars costs 40 real dollars, and you can rebuy another 1,000 but not more than 2,000. What do the Russians do? They enter the tournament, buy 2,000 tournament dollars, and immediately bet all in. If they lose, they rebuy more. If they win, they bet all in again up until they get the winning places. Then they find out how much they spent on rebuy and at what point they need to be to make a profit. They just sit and wait for the end of the tournament, watching their positions. Two or three tournaments are held daily. Today, I'll show you how I got 321% profit at the Crazy March tournament. If you do not want to watch the full video, you can use the time code in the description below the video, where I listed the best moments and bids. Prices for rebuy vary, and you can get different amounts of tournament money for them. Terms and conditions are listed in the description of the tournament. At this tournament, for $80 we can buy 2,000 tournament monies. As you saw, I bought $320 worth of tournament money. I lost the first three bets, but then I made the right forecast and won 3,720 tournament dollars. At the moment, my forecast is not obvious, and I decided to bet the lesser part of the money. However, the Russians bet all in right away and place high with such an aggressive strategy. I waited for the best entry point and bet all in. You must realize the risks, understand how much you are ready to spend on rebuy, and carefully count our profits and at what point should we be to get a profit from the tournament. I bet the amount left in the opposite direction, thus creating a range. One bid won and one bid lost, so we have 5,580 on the account. And here we meet the first restriction. The maximum bid at the tournament is only 5,000 tournament dollars. You can bet 5,000 several times in a row, but it is not always convenient. We must remember this and always keep in mind that 5,000 is the maximum bid. Now we've won 9,300 and are in the winning place. We take a 19th line and it is $583. Thus, we have recovered $360 of the investment. This is not the best result we can achieve, so it is worth continuing to raise the standings. I clearly analyze the positions of the opponents and place the bets that will help raise the standings. Now we have more time for analysis and it is better to search for the best entry points. I usually look for sharp rises or sharp dips, but different strategies can be applied here. As you can see, it is not really very difficult to end up at the winning places. It is best to participate near the end of the tournament to be able to control the tournament battles, because a fierce struggle for winning places begins near the end. We lost a previous bet, so I use Martingale to recoup losses and place a bigger bet than the last time. Greed is severely punished at the tournaments. I watched one Russian with a solid balance and placing well ahead of the opponents lose all of his bank by the end of the tournament for reasons unknown. 
we already have $11,580 tournament dollars on our account. Let's update the stats, and we are already on the 14th line in the standings. We are close to the 10th line. We can approximately calculate the size of the bid needed to get to the 10th line. We take a favourable position, and we still have three hours to raise the standings. I will leave the link to this tournament in the description below, and you can confirm that I really took part in it. You must take an unbiased look at your chances when watching the standings. I can hardly compete with the leader of the tournament, but I can fight for the 10th line. Why compete with the leader and risk what you already have won when you can settle and defend your positions? Now we have $12,938 on our account, and we place the next bet of $2,938 with little risk of losing our positions. We are searching for a favourable entry point. Here we see a remarkable example of a sharp dip and go for a rise. In most cases, when you see a strong swing in any direction, there will always be some compensation and the trend should roll back. This is enough for us to win our bet. We already have $15,446. We are on the eighth line in the tournament and have made more than 400% profit. Yes, the buy-in is big in this tournament, but the prizes are also very big. Nowhere else have I encountered such tournaments, and it is a very good training ground where traders can practice aggressive trading. If you know where other such tournaments are held, post a link in the comments section below. I will place another small bet before the break. Let's try to consolidate our position. Before the break, we still have $15,866, an eighth line in the standings, and we have 3 hours and 35 minutes before the end of the tournament. Let's see what happens after the break. After the break, we see that the opponents are on guard, and it's time for us to win our positions back. We place neat bets and watch all the other tournament participants. We have won, and now we need to place a small bet to overtake a Spaniard on the eighth line. Not a very successful entry, so we place a second bet. Now we need to gamble with a small loss. We need $65 to overtake the Spaniard. Now we'll place a bigger bet. We have bet $110, and an entry point proved to be incorrect. We place a hedging bet, and then we realise that it will not help us. We place the last bet. If our bets don't bring profit, we will have to use Martingale and increase our bet two and a half times. The Russians don't give up and displace me from my positions. We'll have to place another bet. We are getting closer and closer to the leaders, but by the end of the tournament everything will go crazy and everyone will start to siphon off their banks. Therefore, we should fill the bank very carefully and as much as possible. And we lose the bet, which happens quite often, so now we'll have to make more drastic steps to regain our positions. I paused waited until there were three minutes left before the end of the tournament, and now we need to go to the length of a big bid. If we win it, we will rise to higher positions. If we lose, we will still be in the black, so the risk is justified. So I bet $5,000. The adrenaline surges, and I wait for the outcome of this option. The entry point was not the best, but we were short on time. And now my indignation knows no bounds. How could the chart go down? And now it has unexpectedly gone up. It's incredible. This is why I love binary options. Now we have 21,000 on the account, and we are in the eighth place. But it is less than a minute before the end of the tournament, and I am not one who bets a large sum at the end. Five, four, three... Two, one. This is it. The tournament has ended. Now we need to update the stats to take into account all the bets of the participants. The update is complete, and here are the results of the tournament. 
21,000 of the tournament money, the 11th place, and the prize of $1,025.35. Of course, the first and the second place prizes are much more impressive, so there's something to strive for. I have a special gift for my subscribers, a bonus code of 28% on the first deposit, in the description below the video. Sign up, participate in tournaments. If you still do not believe me, I'll leave a link with the results of the tournament in the description. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe for my next videos. Use this video. I wish you the best of luck.